Got a 2007 stretched out Peter built a new 3406 The cat likes a pull Flying down the interstate 13 on the stick I got a stack of paper logs Like we used to use yesterday When we still drove our trucks with pride But now they cut back My horse has got an e-log on the dash Now I'm always running behind this is quality truck driving CDL school in a fancy new schmancy building. There it is, quality drivers. Driverqd.com or drivequd. I'll get it right. I need new right, glasses. Guys, we're here with Scott. Hello. Who is? Uh, Director of Quality Drivers. Director of Quality Drivers. Official title. Official title. Okay, so Scott's going to take us a little bit of a walk around here. And we're going to see some stuff. So you've got your men's washrooms, your ladies' washrooms. Not that that's that important, but... All right, so there's another cafeteria over here. Three meals a day. Is where, where do they get the food from? Cafeteria's right on that door right there. Oh, so we just go through the Onside door? cafeteria, yeah. Damn, that's pretty good. Yep, Monday through Sunday. So there's not just a cafeteria over there. So Oh, and here they actually they have weekends. Weekends. They're open on the weekends, guys, unlike the other side. Because our... our Guys, stay upstairs. Okay, so yeah, we'll see that in a bit, but that's great. So they have a place to eat. Yep. So three meals a day, seven Breakfast days a week. Seven days a week. Yeah. Awesome. And is that run by holidays, quality, yeah. or is that uh, independently contracted, yeah, like over the other way? Independently, it's actually the same group that works down there. They just cook the food down there and they bring it down here. For oh, us. okay. So great. So if this is a recruiting area, what happened to the recruiting over there? So I'm guessing this is something totally different than our recruiting, recruiting. is completely separate from. So, so what is it that you recruit for here? Is it just recruiting student, new drivers, students? students? So it's strictly students. Strictly students. So if a student uh, is basically looking to get their CDL, this is where they're going to call and this, get yeah. approved. Type Holly deal. will probably answer the phone. Hi, Holly. Elizabeth Hi. might answer the phone. If, Hi, Elizabeth. If it's a good day. Yeah. Uh, we if have, it's uh, what if it's not a good day? Uh, that's a good question. Then she hangs up on them. She, she, yeah, <laughs> she's a she's a Texans fan, so that uh, means everything. Yeah, I'll leave that out then. Yep, thank you. <laughs> so we have, uh, the other two are at lunch right now, and then okay. we also have four more ladies who are in the other room. In okay, so you ladies have the the daunting task of getting everybody approved to be able to come to trucking school. Yeah. Basically, yeah. what they do, they go online and fill out the application, and it comes straight to them. They pull okay. reports, so within two days, we can have it back. Okay. Or if they're like, have some questions, so they can call in. They can do it over the phone if they'd like to do that. We okay. have several options. All right, great. They can email the ladies too. I mean, they're they're always here. They're, they have they're, the texting option too. The text oh, yeah. is right on the computer, and we can reply with a text. Oh, okay. What would the what would the number be that they text? Um, they just subscribe online when they're doing their application that yes they want to sign up for it and they can send a text right on their application and we receive it and then we can reply right back oh awesome well that's kind of a cool yeah. feature New technology. Yeah, all right technology cool. it's scary oh another young lady walking by yeah. here yeah hey. <laughs> All right, so here we're coming into what I think is a really cool feature. I didn't even know this existed. This is absolutely amazing for you guys that are, you know, wanting fitness and whatnot. Look at this, our own gym. My gosh, you got basketball nets in here. Uh, what other kind of stuff do they do in here? Workout times? free weights are down that way, ellipticals, treadmills. Oh, can we check that out? Let's check that out. So cool, guys. Look at this. So you guys are bored on the weekends. You're here for training. Even if you guys are stuck here in Indy, from what I hear, and you're just drivers, you're not in training, you guys can come down here. Yeah, this is open to all This is open to everybody. And there is a shuttle bus that does go from, you know, down the street to here. Look at this. Even weight machines and, oh my goodness, they got everything in here. Don't look at me as for an example, guys. I know you're saying, Jerry, you should be using this room. Wow, this is awesome. So you got full weights, all kinds of stuff for all you fitness buffs. And even got TVs in here for them to watch. Mm -hmm. Obviously nobody's in here, so their TVs are off, but. We have videos too that we made ourselves of like pre-trip stuff. Okay. So if the students want to come here and exercise and watch a pre-trip video. And watch the video so it's not so boring just sitting exactly, there watching it. Yeah. This is, and this is like state-of-the-art equipment. This no, is not old brand, stuff. This is new, new stuff, man. So you're not getting uh, used, uh, run-of-the-mill uh, leftover equipment, guys. This is like some real fancy Stereo, stuff. Stereo, you can listen to music, turn it up while you work Even out. Even music? Oh my goodness, how awesome is that? Holy crap, and you see guys, I've been with this company how long? I didn't even know this was here. Hey, check this out. Two guys, racquetball, for those of you into racquetball. That wouldn't be me, but that would be you guys in behind these glass walls here, obviously. 
they have uh, people who come in four or five times a week and teach individual classes. Like uh, there's a spin class, yoga class. It's locked. We're not privileged enough. Oh, there we go. We found an open door. So they do fitness uh, classes in here. Wow, fancy schmancy. This is great. So this is open to anyone also, obviously. Oh, yeah. And I guess they have a schedule for when they do it. Sure do. We'll just take a quick peek in here if we can. I don't know if we can. Yeah, it's too glossy, but trust me, it's 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 another physical sport that you won't catch me doing. Okay, so we were just discussing about, I, and I've heard it from you guys saying that because it's Indiana and you guys live in a different state, there's different rules, and so it's a new rule. We'll just explain it here real yeah, quick. So, yeah, what happens is you basically get your permit in your domicile state. Which is your written learner's just the permit. Written, the, the general knowledge, air brakes, and combination, you pass those three, they give you a permit. Okay. And you come here, you do the weekend classroom, we go over pre-trip, we go over some uh, safety you know, stuff. So general knowledge and air brakes, we go over that again with you, just to double check. Yeah. You come here, so you go to our testing site, mm -hmm. they test you when you pass, they upload that into the system that is federal and the federal sends that back to your home state okay so after you go back to your home state you go to the bmv dmv and they so as long as they come with their their learner's permit here yep everything else can be done and then they still get their license through their home state or is this in indiana they'll get you what will what, happen when you go with the trainer the yeah. first load will get you back to your home state oh so they go to the home state and that way they can get everything squared away there exactly. so you guys can get the license from the proper state that you yep. need it from exactly. okay so Obviously, this is not the only quality school. No. What what other places are we located in? Uh, Alabama, uh, Gaston, Alabama, uh, Laredo, Texas was our third school. Uh, then we went to uh, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Denver, Colorado was in March. And then just this week, I was just in Pennsylvania, Carlisle, we opened up March So Carlisle's school. got a school now too? This week was the first class, yes. Okay, so that's great. So We're all over. Here, here we are uh, on the outside portion, I guess here where they learn uh, backing up skills yeah, and... Straight uh, line, offset, straight line. parallel. Okay, and I see we've got a couple of different trucks here. They're using a Peterbilt, a lot of freight liners. Um, do they do they get a, a try at all the different types of trucks that we have, or is it this is basically what they're going to be we learning do, in? We do backing in the centuries. We do driving in Pro Stars. So okay, that so that they're familiar, familiar with what they're going to end up You're getting. Exactly right. Because yep. that's what I was getting to. Because I mean, these are Freightliners, but the majority of our fleet is International Freight Pro Stars, and they well, drive a little different. These are like 06, 07 yeah. centuries, and we all have you know 15 Pro Stars, so that's yeah. what we do when they yeah. drive. They, if, they, if you're going to destroy nice. a truck, these are the ones to destroy, <laughs> not the newer ones, okay, guys? Um, There's been times where you come out and see drive shafts sitting on the bottom. Like, oh, really? Like, <laughs> well, if they're going to do it on a truck, this is the truck to do it on, right? Yeah. So this is great. So how many uh, students do you say uh, we have going through like this particular segment of the, the training this right now. This school right now, this segment, well, we have uh, probably 25 to 30 in the classroom right now. Okay. And we probably have 65 or so that are out doing the range and driving around. Driving around. around. Yeah. Wow, that's and a lot. And then we have approximately probably 25 who have passed their CDL mm -hmm. and are just waiting to start orientation. Okay, so now this isn't just for Celadon. This is people that just want a CDL can still come here too, right? You can, but we prefer it. Right now, we're taking only people from Celadon. Only people from Celadon? Okay. If, if you want to go to school here, uh, you need a pretty hefty down payment. Is what yeah. What do first. So with this here, it's basically the guys don't have to worry about the finances. Exactly. They, once they get approved, uh, they they're pretty much CDL guaranteed. They want to job, we'll do all They're guaranteed a job at the end of the training. Yep. And, uh, we pre-hire pre, uh, the guys here. Yeah. So it's not like they have to worry about getting their CDL and then Celadon might have them. We don't bring anybody who yeah. doesn't qualify for So Celadon. basically, you've already passed everything that you need to pass. Yeah, basically sure to get on it's with the company and yep. you're, you're good to go exactly right. well this is awesome i'm glad to see it do we mind if we uh talk to a couple of the students or? Hey guys right. uh, we're going to talk with a couple of the students here uh so how long have you guys been here second week it's your second week My third week third week second. second week so how are you finding the experience here pleasant, is it pleasant yeah, yeah and you find you're getting adequate uh it's productive so you you're you're picking up on what they're teaching you and uh you're grasping the whole situation. Right. Yeah, actually easier than I thought it was. Is the it? The instructors are doing excellent. Yeah. And just, I'm happy. I, it's they've helped me pick up stuff that I that I've not done, not been able to pick up. I've been in the truck running off 
with my wife for going on a year or better. Yeah, I take it your wife's a truck driver yes. already? Yes, sir. Oh, see, now that's a role reversal you normally don't uh, get, yeah. right? Yeah. Normally it's the husband that's the trucker and the wife comes on, but this is great. So you're going to truck with your wife? Or? Yes, she's already, she, she left Snyder and come over to Celadon because I chose to come here and she's going to be, me and her's going to team together. Awesome, awesome. So how are you liking the whole setup? Like between the living conditions, the food? Is there... The, the living conditions... You can be honest, you can be honest. The living conditions are excellent. Are they? The food's a little shaky. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is cafeteria food, so I mean... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's not going to be the uh, the junk food that we like, right? Yeah. Or the sirloin steak I'm, I'm or... i chicken three times a week. Chicken right? three times a week. <laughs> but other than that, your your experience is fairly pleasant. How about you? Are you... one of the other schools for three days before coming here, and the other school's a joke compared to here. Is it? Because there, they were... Within three days, there's you know trip planning and log books here straight CDL. Then once you go to your orientation, then they're working. Then you fine, learn that then stuff. Fine you. Here this it's is, about trucking, right? This is yeah. This is more like a college than a school. Okay, good deal. And yourself, sir? Uh, I found that experience pretty good. Yeah. You did, did you? Yeah, and you're learning. You're you're getting a hold of it. Not too many mistakes. Not too many mistakes. At that's all. good. That's good. They make sure they give you enough information so you won't make too many mistakes. Good, good. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm, I'm doing all right. My name is Lance Outing. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> How are you enjoying your experience here? Ah, uh, man, expertise here is great. Um, I never seen anything like it. Hands-on experience, um, time in the trucks, practice, practice, practice is what they instill in us. Teachers are excellent. They make sure they keep you at a gradual pace. So it's, it's refreshing to know that there's, there's programs out here like this. Good. So you guys feel like you're, I won't say getting your money's worth because obviously it's a free type course. You know, you're getting into it, but you feel like you're getting your time's worth, right? Yeah. Good deal. Yes, I am an owner operator and I am an employee of Celadon. I am a Canadian driver from Celadon. From Buffalo. You're from Buffalo, so you're close to home. <laughs> so as a woman here at, at the training school, I take it you're getting your CDL, obviously. How are you finding the experience? It's, it's way better. I actually came from another school. You came from another school? Yeah. And, and how do you compare the two? They don't. They don't compare? <laughs> so this being the better side of it? Yeah, yeah. I'm Good. getting it a little better. The instructors as well way more patient like i wasn't in a rush to they wasn't in a rush to help do they it, weren't do pushing that, you through that, they yeah, were do this do that okay were, you got that they were letting you no, take your time to learn it good yeah. deal okay so now i'm going to ask an important question here and i know a lot of women are going to want to know the answer mm -hmm. and i don't want to put any negativity on this but as a woman are you being treated fairly yeah. <laughs> so there's no there's no like prejudice against between man and woman. It's mm -hmm. like they treat you as an equal here. Even the men, they they like, what's up, JP? How you doing, JP? So you know. you you feel comfortable then? Yeah. He's just a driver. Just yeah. a driver. That's that's all it is, really. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's great that you guys are enjoying yourself. Thank you for your time. Ah, uh, you're yeah. welcome. <laughs> all right. So we're with the second group. We were down there, and now we're over here with another group of new CDL potentials here guys that are going to get their license so i just want to ask you guys so what are your thoughts of the school so far are you guys uh, having a good experience so far they need more trainers they need more trainers yeah that's always the case right but how do you find the trainers that you have are they uh, are they helping you are they are you getting it uh, so far yeah they're pretty good you know you got students and actual trainers yeah so it makes it a little bit difficult you know who to listen to yeah no, but as far as the trainers, well, they, they're not bad. They're pretty good. They're pretty good? Good. Glad to see. your experience overall with the school, accommodations and whatnot. Well, I wish the food was better. <laughs> Everyone says we take a vote on the food. Dude, dude, I'm, uh, you know, I'm on this man's side when it comes to the <laughs> food, guys. Let's take a vote on it. You know, yeah. That day. yeah, no fried you know, chicken, right? Of food, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good? Good deal. And how are you uh, finding it? I find it pretty good. I mean, the, yeah. I think the accommodations are good. They teach you a lot. You yeah. Know. And you're, you're grasping it. They're not rushing you through it or anything? No, they're not trying to push you at all. No. They give you time. So they're giving you time to make sure that you understand what it is they're teaching? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Excellent. You, sir, you look like a seasoned veteran almost. What brings you out to the trucking school? New career. New career? Yeah. And how are you liking it? I love it. The transition's uh, okay for you? It's real good. Yeah, and you're, you're Treat, picking? Treating me good. Treating you good, picking up on what they're trying to teach you, the basics and you know, the, yes, the must-knows type deal? Yep. 
And they're not rushing you through, right? Not rushing. Good deal. Go, go through at your own pace. Excellent. Yourself? Uh, I really like it. I think that the instructors are very good. Um, they really take your time to make sure that you know everything. And I sort of talk back a lot. So You do? You speak <laughs> your mind, do you? I, I'm well, you're defense. asking questions, I'm right? De I'm defensive when they talk, when they try to tell me what to do and uh, they, they put up with me and they don't get too mad and they don't yell at me. They don't, well, that's the important <laughs> thing, right? Yeah, I don't get too frustrated when I'm out on the drive or something. Excellent. Practicing. Excellent. And here we have another woman that's come to the school and I got to ask you and I asked the other lady over there, how are you finding it as being a woman here at the school? Are, are, are they treating you fairly? Oh, yes. There's, there's no, uh, you know, separating the men from the women type deal? No, no, not at all. And how are you finding the learning experience? Challenging. Challenging? Yeah. But are you getting it? Yeah. They're taking their time and they're getting it to you? Yes. And Excellent. they're um, very accommodating to my million questions I have. So. That's good. So questions, there's never a stupid question. There's never too many, you know, it's just got to ask them. Right. As that, dumb as they may seem, ask them. Because yes. if you don't know, you know, power is knowledge. So the more you ask, the more you know, right? Yes, they encourage their questions, so that's so, a good thing. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You. Hope you guys do well. I want to see all of you passing. And I expect to see all of you out on the truck stops with me. Oh my God, more freaking stairs. Can there be any more stairs in this damn place? I think I've lost 37,000 pounds now. I gotta eat him one another burger to gain it back. Right, guys, we're coming into uh, the lounge for the trainees and guys at CDL that want to come up and just relax a little bit. They got some nice couches, TV, multiple TVs actually, by the looks of it. It's a nice place to come and unwind. Play cards, dominoes, great. Excellent. Okay, this is uh, odd. I guess it's just like workstations, or yeah, they have their own TV. Though. Each one has a TV, so they can sit and watch. Oh, somebody stole the remote for this one, and it's funny because you know I'm seeing this which I'm guessing is supposed to be attached to the remote and they found a way to break it off <laughs> oh we found one that has it actually attached still oh, there we go almost looks like it was broken off the remote was probably replaced <laughs> So is it just like regular cable TV or is it just yeah. like in-house TV? And this is like I was telling you the videos. Oh, and they have the video avail the availability to watch. So if they're at the, eating their dinner at the end of the day, you want to come up, watch us over and just get some bed into your head. Yeah. Cool. And that's Max. He's actually our classroom instructor. Downstairs. Okay. So I, mean, I, I tape this myself. So that's, I mean, I probably can't tell mm -hmm. by that. Good, good, good I mean, camera work I know, there. That's what I'm <laughs> I know, yeah, you have yeah, I should hire, I should hire you there now. <laughs> I'm cheap, dude. All right, ah. so they got laundry facilities here too for them to keep their laundry out. That's the infamous uh, dryer sock, sock monster. <laughs> <laughs> and there's two of them there. Apparently, they don't even match. There's a, there's a card loader on the third floor, and basically, we give you a card when you check in. You take that, put in the car loader, and then you put how much money you want on it. Okay. And then you just put it in here and it reads it. Okay, excellent. So actually the price isn't too bad. It's about standard for what you pay at uh, yeah. a lot of the truck stops anyway. So yeah. they seem to be modern machines. So yep. so they have like shower rooms it's like they like do at the truck stop. like a dorm where yeah. you're sharing a shower. With six so you got uh, private showers just like the truck stops. All nice, nicely kept, nice and clean with all the normal stuff. See, this is for men's. There's a women's men's showers, and they have a woman's. There's another men's on the floor as well. Okay, so they have multiple, so it makes it a little bit easier. Multi I can imagine the lineup must get pretty long in the mornings. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up here at the school pretty soon. Uh, only got a couple more things to do, but we're here with Brian, who is one of the uh, lead trainers out here. And uh, just wanted to say hi to Brian and uh, see how he's uh, experiencing the school as a trainer. Oh, I love it here. Great kids. Help do listen well. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to put people out there that's safe on the highways. So, what are some of the things you're expecting from your students uh, as far as uh, listening and uh, you know? Oh, well, that's it. Uh, it all boils down to listening. You know, if they can do that and carry this on out onto the highways next to your family and my family, that's what it, that's what it all boils down to. Yeah. And are you? 
are you finding as a trainer that uh, these guys are getting an adequate amount of training uh, oh, yeah. before going out? Oh yeah, yeah. Just gotta remember here, we're we're teaching them how to get their CDLs at this point. Sorry. No, no, I'm just doing. Don't no, you watch it? We were watching yeah. a guy here doing his thing at the same time. Yeah. I was just trying to block the I'm mic just here for the sure wind. making sure these guys have every bit of the knowledge and skills that they need to get their CDLs from here and then the Celadon trainers actually yes. take it from there. And they take it from there. So, Because I know a lot of guys are saying uh, it seems like a little bit minimal here, but here it's really just to get them their license, exactly. get them safe and qualified, and then the trainers out on the road are the ones that are really going to teach them yes, what it is correct. like to be out on the road. Yep. That so. is correct. All right then. Well, great. I'm going to let you get back to this guy because he's backing up and I don't want to get run over and you need to pay attention to your guys. So thanks very much, Brian. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. All right. So they have an on-site clinic, although it's not open right now, but that's where they do all their physicals right here to take care of everyone. There's a floor plan on every floor to show you where you're going so you don't get lost. All right, guys. So this is going to give you a quick look at your accommodations here. So you get a nice double bed. I don't know if that'd be queen or double. That's a double. Yes, that's a double. Yep. Got a, I don't even know what to call it, wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Night test stand. You got a TV in here, which is great. So just perfect for spending your time. And then you get to sit up here and watch the guys make mistakes so that you don't do it when you, it's your turn. Bird's eye view. Right, and they give you towels and everything here. So yep. sheets, pillow, bedding. So you're doing good, guys. Uh, only thing you might want to bring and think of bringing is maybe bring yourself a little ice chest because they do have ice machines here so you can fill up the ice chest and have uh, cool drinks in all right guys so we're pretty much done here at the school uh just a quick question so roughly basically from start to finish what is, is the time frame that the students are here average is four to six weeks four to six weeks right oh now, sorry ma'am right now we're pushing four or five at least. Yeah, I mean, just because there's a little bit less students so they can go max, get through a little bit quicker. We've got a great amount of instructors. Our instructors that we have have been here a while. Yeah. So they uh, they know the ropes, they know what to do, they know what to look for. It's okay. just a quicker process. So any final message you want to give to any new potential uh, truck drivers that no. are thinking of coming out here? Come give us a shot. Yeah. Appreciate it. If not, not good luck to you in the future. All right then. Well, well thank you very much for your time and showing us around the school. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you.